Hello everybody and welcome along to this week's stream. So now normally today we have two player career mode. That is not the case today because Mr. Benjamin Daly is unfortunately on holiday. Um, he, he's in Greece. It's, it's a really hard life for Mr. Daly. He's just setting it up on an island in Greece. He's left us for the week. So that means no two player career today. That will return next week for Baku. Same time, same place. But instead we're going to have episode two that's for episode two of our My Team Career Mode, which we only started last week. We started last Thursday. We created the AG Motorsport team and uh, we had quite a good race, actually. We managed to score a few points. So we're going to do episode two of that today, which is going to be around Porter Mao. So hopefully we'll have a good screen stream, even without Ben. I mean, it gets a bit boring anyway, isn't it? We always beat him by so much. That it's boring anyway. So it's, uh, yeah, we'll get him in the bin. Anyway, guys, welcome to this one. Hey, Big Steel Lad. Hey, Toppy. Hey, Tim. Uh, hey, Salak, thanks for trying to add the command. I think I added one as well, though. So we've got two commands for Where's Ben. Uh, hey, Luando. Hey, Dark Sky. Hey, Jasper. Hey, AK. Hey, Harry. Hey, Luke. Uh, hey, Vince. Uh, <laughs> Salak says, what time to call this? Yeah, good. I mean, it's Ben that we need to... We need to... Okay. Uh, no, I was going to tweet him what time to call this, but it doesn't make any sense. I'll, we'll make a joke next week about how he's a week late. Uh, hey, Henry. Uh, hey, Built Lexus. Hey, King. Hey, j -back. Hey, Toppy. Uh, hey, Kyle. Hey, notice able TK. Hey, J4 CX5. Uh, hey, Matthias. Hey, Jeremy. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Ethan. Hey, TRT Veloce. Hey, Benjamin. Uh, hey, Sid Arthur. Hey, the business kid. Hey, Bob Gold Reality. Hey, Andy. Hey, Axel. Hey, Billy Wiz. Hey, Max Tiger. Hello, Stream Elements. I always like to say hello to the bot. I don't know why. Hey, Leonardo. Hey, Nivy. Hey, J Back. Hey, having a cow. Good name. Hey, James. Hey, Amarak. Hey, AJ. Hey, TBC. Hey, Marcus. Hey, Toby. We, we caught up. We just about caught up for all the hello started coming. Hello, everybody. Hello to everybody I just missed that's reeling in now after this. While going on to this one. We managed to catch up today as Ben's not here. It's not a two-play career mode, which is obviously the our most hyped series. Um, we actually managed to catch up on chat for once, which we've not been able to do for a number of weeks. Anyway, should we get on with it then? So, as I said, today will be a two-player... No, it won't be. That'll be next week. Today will be a My Team Career Mode, uh, which we start from the back as well. I mean, I'm sure you figured that out from the title, but this whole series, we're going to start from the very back of the grid, just to, just to kind of do something a bit different. I mean, everybody does a My Team Career Mode, which is why I've not done it until now. Uh, two-player career is the more unique thing, but I wanted to do something on Thursdays as well as Tuesdays on YouTube. Uh, so, I, so I started this series. So 
that, that that's the kind of origins. I don't know why I'm telling you the origins, but I am. Now, what I'm going to do just before we get into this, actually, is I'm going to do a couple of laps on Portimao and Time Trial, purely because they've changed the game, which I forgot they did. So I'm just going to go to 50% break bias and make sure that we're kind of okay. Uh, the setup's kind of okay that we've got saved. It should be fine. But uh, let's let's just let's just go and do literally like one maybe two laps here because I've done enough practice. I played a lot of this track the last few weeks. It was only released a month ago, obviously, so I haven't played it a lot. Benjamin is too scared to race against you. I like the use of Benjamin as well. Yeah, you're not wrong. To be fair, you're not wrong. Right here we go. Lucas Porter out. Okay, so now I think with this new patch, you have to go to 50% brake bias for a lot of tracks. Some you don't. Some that are very heavy braking, according to Sanic at least. Some that are very heavy braking you don't. So let's just let's just double check that that 50% brake bias is going to work for us. I think it'll probably be fine. But other than that, let's just make sure that we're not horrendously off the pace. So our best there, 16-1, was set before the patch. So if we can get somewhere near that with this setup, I think we're probably doing alright. My next rival is P12, Nicholas Longay. We're not beating P12, game. That's obviously horrifically deep, but we, we move, we move. Bit of rear lock in there, actually. So I think 50-50 might be a bit too far, far rearward, but it's definitely better than what it would, would have been before the patch. Let's go 51. Let's try that. Actually, lock the front slightly on the exit of that one, or the entrance rather to that one. We are just going to do one lap over that. I know it says default ghost. That is my ghost. That's, I mean, let's not do that in the race. That won't be wise, will it? I've actually not played this game since last week. I probably should have done a couple of laps before I went live, but YOLO. Well, I like to say that's, a, that's what I want to say about that. But as you can see, I, I do know what I'm doing. I've done enough of this track recently, which is why I didn't bother to practice. Because I've done a lot of this track. And this feels fine. This feels totally fine now. We're 51%. We're totally fine. Yep, that's fine. Uh, let's just return to garage so we can save it. But other than that, we're all good and we'll get the race underway. Of course, we need to apply our updates as well. Not what I meant to do. No. Save. On top of Lucas Portimao. Let's make sure we've actually got it saved correctly as well. Breaks. There we go. 51%. Okay, cool. So, yes, we've also obviously got to do our upgrades and stuff. So, we haven't actually done anything since the end of the last stream. Um, we managed to have a handful of updates. We're actually the fifth or sixth fastest car for the Ferrari Swan somehow. <clears throat> um, so, uh, hopefully, we can get a few more updates on the car. Let's go, Portugal. My team, AG Motorsport. Okay, right. So, let's do activities first. Let's get those out of the way. So, aero. I am actually concentrating on aero. This is my facilities at the moment. I'm sort of doing chassis more, but I am also doing aero. So, could do that, maybe. But I don't like sacrificing other departments. Okay, that one doesn't, but I also don't care because it's durability. Team Acclaim. Might be nice to get some sponsors on the car. At the moment, we've got no sponsors because we've not unlocked it. So, that actually might be a nice one to do. Driver Acclaim, I don't really care about. And Sim Training for Louis Delatraz, who's our teammate. That is a five-day one, though. Both of these do Team Acclaim, actually. Eight days. Can we, we can do both. Then we won't be able to do any of the others. Sorry, guys. I just realised you can't. I know you can't see half of this. Apologies. There you go. Um, I think we just go with that, you know. 30 resource points. That's not making any difference. Would be nice to have Mick... Uh, have, uh, not Mick. That was a couple of years ago. It would be nice to have Louis having more experience and more focus. But I'll tell you what. We're going to... 625-313... I'll tell you what we'll do, is we'll cancel the second one for now, because if we get enough points to unlock this sponsor, that's what I really care about, so we'll cancel that for now, 780k, that's not enough to buy any uh, facility upgrades, so it's all going to be about R&D then, <laughs> that command's just going to be constant in chat, isn't it? Um, this is season one, we've only just started, so right, what we're going to do here then, so what, what's the next phase? It's... Portimao, and then it's Monaco, and then Calendar. Okay, okay, okay. So, what are we going to do here then? We're going to potentially use some drag reduction. I do like these updates, but not. we don't want that for Monaco. DRS, unless it can go on before this race, but I doubt it. There's not much time. To, no, there's no more upgrades we can do for the next race. Double check that. 
Yeah, we can't even rush it because we haven't got a spec 2. So, nothing can go on for the next race. So, let's just concentrate on Monaco then. So, it is all about chassis for Monaco. We've already got rate redistribution. Uh, so, this one here in development, which actually ready in one day. 1,100 for this. We can afford that. That should be on time in car for Monaco. Major weight reduction, which will be nice for Monaco. Tyro, I don't care about. Engine power, I don't care about. Durability, we do need to do some durability updates, I reckon, because... Actually, no, we don't, do we? This is a series... I just realised I've still got me hidden. I'm back! Hello! Uh, yes, we don't need durability updates, because we're starting from the back every single race. So, we can take a new engine every single race. So, let's just do... Yeah, let's do chassis then. That's, that's the Monaco upgrade, isn't it? The major weight reduction... Uh, there we go. Let's do that. That should be on time, just in time for Monaco. So actually, right now we're back down to being one of the worst cars. Oh, that, that's just for chassis, of course. That's just for chassis. So you must be one of the best then in terms of aero, are we? You guys see that? You can kind of see the graph. Is it engine? I don't know. Don't know. This is where we are at the moment. So we are just about the 1, 2, 3, 4, 6th fastest car, but very close behind Aston Martin. We've got two upgrades that will go on the car. Well, one that will go on the car before the next race. Weight redistribution. One that will go in, on the car in time for Monaco. But we've got 480 points now. I very much doubt, unless there's a big discount on one of these, which there isn't. I very much doubt we can do 27%. We actually can do that. Engine power. 38% failure chance. I don't like it. That's just a waste of money. No, we're not going to do it. We're going to save our points. We're going to save a point. So let's do one day. Yes, green. And then let's wait to the 24th. Then we need to stop okay, and do the next... The okay. The For that, though, we've got a, a marketing department event. The department has requested your attendance at the today's, today's meeting to help solve a, uh, an issue. I need to speak with you about a recent message from IT and security. It appears we're under threat from hackers and malicious software. And whilst our systems are up to date, they suggest that we put some time into additional training to ensure all teams know how to reduce the risk of unauthorized access to our, to our data. Sure, cool. Wow, okay. So if we say yes, just a mandatory team training. We lose 20k, we gain 500 resource points. That's surely no brainer. Or we lose 500 resource points, which we can't even do, by the way, because we don't have 500 resource points. So I would have gone for this anyway. I appreciate you that's an interesting one but yeah that's a no-brainer okay so now we've got 980 points can we get another update on in time for oh that's the wrong thing can we get another update on in time for for monaco 1100 that would be in time for monaco but we can't quite afford it tire wear i don't care about tire wear aero might be nice for monaco drag reduction not rear downforce that could be nice for monaco Hmm. Do you get a bit of a discount on these as well? Interesting. Okay. Uh, maybe. I mean, it definitely helps having a bit of rear rear downforce, doesn't it, in Monaco? What time will the race start? Just in a moment. Once we've done these updates, it won't be long. It'll be five minutes or so. Uh, I think we go for it, you know. I think we go for some rear downforce. That will help us at Monaco. Let's do that. Although the failure chance is a bit high. Three more days. Three more days that we can maybe get on this. Three more days, but it'll be on in time for the same race. No, we're going to stick with rear downforce. Rear downforce is nice at Monaco. One more day. There we go. Now let's do the next. So have we got... We are now level five, so we can now take on a sponsor, secondary sponsor. So we want the one probably with a maximum goal bonus. Answer at least two interview questions during a race weekend. Very, very easy to do. Weekly income. Goal bonus and weekly income. Oh, no, I'm not reading the refrain. Out-qualify your rival. Who's my rival? Don't love that one. That could be a failure. Beat your rival during a race. Achieve a top 12 finish during the race. We can definitely do that one. But this one's more lucrative. Answer two interview questions. We can do that. Okay, that's a bit more money in the in the bank. Nothing now to do until the 26th when we get some more running costs. Uh, so 1.2 mil. That potentially is enough. To do that, I don't really want to do that yet, though. No, I think we save it. Could do these. We don't care about durability. No, let's save. Let's save the 1.2 mil. Uh, one more. Yep, yeah. that one was a an engine one. Six four eight points actually. Should we maybe spend some of these? Six four eight. Now this is now all going to be about the next race. Look. Oh no, we can get this. We can get that one on for Monaco. What? Hold on. Ah, oh, department capacity reach. Okay. Chassis though? No, we haven't got a thousand. We don't want to do the tire wear one. Power? 
We don't really want that for Monica. 39%. No, we're going to save the points. We are going to save the points. Unless six... Oh, we're too short. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter. Department capacity. Okay, nothing else to do then. Let's just skip forward now to the Portuguese Grand Prix. Oh, I forgot to do the... Damn it. Can't wait to get blocked midstream. It might do. I completely forgot. I stopped it to do that. And I just forgot. So we're now going to miss out. It does does not the end of the world. But I would have done that to give Mick... To give... Uh, to give Louis a bit more... A few more points. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Two more days. Uh... Nothing else to look at. I will show you the standings as well. I should show you at the start, really. We managed eighth place in the last race. We got four points. I did. I did show you this. Uh, this screen to be fair. So we managed to get eighth place, which is a good result last week, actually. So let's now skip ahead to the Portuguese Grand Prix and see where we're going to be. Uh, so we've got two more updates that are ready to go on for Monaco. We could probably do another one as well. So Monaco will have a nice handful of updates. But for now. Let's just get on with the Portuguese Grand Prix with the updates that we have got. Let's hope we can maybe sneak up to the fifth fastest team. It's going to be close, I think. Are you live on Twitch? No, just, just YouTube. Uh, okay, right. There's some rain in qualifying, but that doesn't matter because we're not going to do qualifying since we're starting from the back. No rain in the race. Okay, all right. Uh, what are we looking at? Here we go. This is what we want. Uh, no, we've actually dropped down. Two teams have overtaken us. Unbelievable. That is so close. There's, you can't really see the green line. There's four teams within that little little group. So we're now the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're now the eighth fastest team again. But we're nothing. We're tiny amount away from being the fifth fastest team again. Wow. Okay. So we're going to have a really good battle for points here. If the top four can beat us, which a few of them retired last race, so maybe not. But if the top four can beat us... Um, they will theoretically lock out the first eight positions. So there's ninth and tenth available, but there's four teams, eight drivers battling for ninth and tenth for two positions. So this could be really spicy. Uh, nothing really too much else to look at. Oh, we only had weight redistribution apply for this race because we just didn't have time to get any others on. So we need to do the quick practice now. We'll rattle through these. They're normally pretty easy to do. We'll just aim to do all of them. Hey, let game. Welcome along. Hey guys, did you know that Alex has a girlfriend? I do indeed. It's interesting that people are like, oh wait, you got a girlfriend? It's like one of those things. It's obviously a big thing in my life, but clearly something I don't mention very much in my stream, so you guys don't even realise. Okay, rattling through these. Ah, all successful. Two minutes left. I doubt that's long enough. Anything? Four minutes, not quite. Okay, that's one done. We'll do the other two. Don't need to worry too much, because again, we don't care about engine wear, so it doesn't... These are really easy. We just press the buttons. As, yeah, so that's a good point, actually. I haven't actually mentioned. So for those that watched the Thursday stream, um, it was taken down midstream because of copyright. Because the, the YouTube thought I was streaming the, the Portuguese Grand Prix, which was on in... When was that? Like June or whatever it was. Maybe early in that. Which was very annoying. Nothing I could have done about it, though. I basically had to pause the game, wait for about two or three minutes before YouTube decided, no, this isn't a copyright stream anymore, and then let everyone see it again. Really annoying. And then it got taken down after the stream, and it didn't get released for another day, because FOM have to manually say, no, this is not our content. It's ridiculous. I haven't got a solution in place today. The, Portu the Portuguese Grand Prix has had issues before. So, this... This stream may not be available afterwards. I'm hoping it doesn't go down during the stream, but it may not be available afterwards. I'll get it unblocked as fast as I can. That's it. I have got a plan in place for future streams. Not just yet. I'm working on it, um, but nothing really to say just yet. Uh, but that is, that's where we're at currently. So if the stream does, does say policy violation and you can't view it anymore, just wait a couple of minutes and it'll be back. It's annoying. There's nothing more I can do. I like hope your stream isn't shut down today. Yeah, there you go. A girlfriend? I'd have thought with the man cave set up, you were married. <laughs> yeah, fair point. Right. Okay, that was nice and easy. <clears throat> Trying these last few done. None have failed yet. I've been very, very lucky. There we go. Lovely. Can't. No, no time to do anything else. We'll do those last few in the last practice session, then we're done. I mean, to a more, afford a man cave such as this one, uh, you'd have to be married for at least 10 years or single. True, actually, yeah. So I can see why people might think I haven't got a girlfriend. <laughs> okay, let's get these last few done. Your whole channel was down after last week's week stream. Was it really? I didn't notice that. Oh, 
I'm a little bit late. Let's go, Alex. Well, we're about to start the race. You're actually in perfect time. Perfect timing. Because we're literally about two minutes out from starting the race. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. We're now level three. Don't really care. Okay. It's going to put us to qualifying. But obviously, we don't want to do that. Now, we have got a handful of points. No, I'll, I'll spend the points in the next stream. We've now got quite a few resource points. We've got 1,600. But I will still spend those in the next stream. Okay, let's skip straight to the race then. Uh, yeah, let's skip straight to the race. I might put in a new engine. Yeah, this one's 52% worn. I'm putting a new engine. Because we could take a brand new engine every single race. Because we're starting from the back in every race. I don't think there's anything that's going to stop me doing that. But we'll find out. <laughs> Brand new engine for race two. Let's skip straight forward to the race. What's your favourite road car? Good question. I don't actually really have an answer for you, though, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. Is the answer? Um... I like Teslas a lot, uh, but they're not quite like exotic. They're not. They're not like a. I don't know. I don't really have a, like a. I don't know. Is the answer? I know it's a bit boring. Okay, so Ferrari one two on the grid. What? Where's that come from? Then Gasly's up there. Maybe because we skipped qualifying, we've made it mixed up. Bottas is down in 7th. Russell's up to ninth. Our teammates in 10th. What is this grid? Ricardo's all the way down in 14th. Vettel's down in 18th. Stroll's 19th. We're actually not quite at the back of the grid. I don't know why. <laughs> we did a minus 1 minute 25.313 lap time. Which I think we can all agree is a great lap time. What is that grid? After the points finish last race, that is wild, right? Oh no! Going. It's we we got into Park Ferme. What? I've just overridden it as well. We can't. We've got a default setup. I've also not even changed the... Oh, guys, I've absolutely bottled this race. I've also not changed the AI... I, for some reason, I completely forgot. I've also not changed the AI difficulty level. So I think we're on 110, which is going to be very, very hard, especially with the default setup. Oh, I've absolutely... Oh, no, we're on 106. Okay, 106 isn't too bad, but default setup? Why is Park Fermi applied? We didn't do a lap time game. Well, that's, that's one lesson learned for next time. Maybe because it was wet, but it does make a difference. We didn't go out in qualifying. I, th I think it's when you when you leave the leave the garage in qualifying, is it not? Oh my god! Okay, well, default setup then, chat. There's nothing we can do about that now. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, I mean we're gonna aim for a one stop as well. Ah, oh, okay. That's so annoying, but lesson learned for next time. How was I supposed to know that? Lesson learned for next time. So we're going to aim for a one-stop. We'll see if we can stretch it to do mediums in this stint. The game doesn't think we can, but I think we probably can if we can stretch it a little bit further. But I don't know how our how our uh, tyres will be with the default setup. So this will be a learning experience for us all. I also overrode my time my setup that I had, so I'm going to have to go and find that again in a minute. Grind like us peasants. Yes, indeed. Well then, default setup last the first challenge. I mean, obviously we're not going to get first. Points are going to be a big ass today. Bear in mind there was only two available anyway. Why have we got mediums on? We've not selected the right strategy. Do we start on mediums? Hope for a safety car. I think we're going to need something special today. With that default setup on 106 AI. That's going to be at least half a second lap slower I'd say. What tyre do we start on guys? Uh, okay I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Hang on a minute. Okay I'm going to... Leave it up to you guys which tyre I start on. So put in chat right now the name of the tyre you think I should start on. Put in soft, medium or hard. That's all I want to hear. Soft, medium or hard. Put it in chat right now and whatever you guys say I will start on. It's because it's because it's a different race today. I'm just a bit out of sorts. I didn't even think about the AI level. What an idiot. Okay. Pretty close to being soft and medium at the moment. Soft's still winning at the moment. I agree. They're probably soft or medium. Probably hard's 
probably not going to aim to give hard. Medium's catching up. Keep voting, guys. I'll wait for it to refresh two more times. Keep voting. Medium's catching up. Keep voting. Oh, okay. Soft's one. Soft's one. Okay, we'll aim for that strategy. We'll probably go to mediums instead of hards, but we'll aim for that strategy. Let's close that before you guys start putting poo in chat everywhere. Right, come on then, guys. Let's do this race start. Oh, God. I'm not looking forward to this race with default setup. Come on then. Hopefully a good start here. That is a good start. Oh, a bit of wheel spin there as we get, got going, but nice start there. Now, I don't want to have any collisions here. Oh. <laughs> don't want to have any collisions here. Next thing you know. What? They break so early. Did not expect to break quite that early. Okay. I mean, we're going to flash that one back. Because I don't want to drive a whole race with a damaged wing. We'll do it. I don't know, here. Oh, still got... We can sneak up the inside here. Now I know that they break that early. That's insanely early. Oh, a bit of contact here. I think we're three wide, are we? Ricardo's absolutely sent it. Oh, God. Why are you turning on me, please? Give me a bit of room. Who's that? Alonso. Cheers, Alonso. Hope we haven't got any damage from that. No, no damage. Oh, God, he's attacking. Oh, you have to give him a bit of room there. We made it three wide. Alonso's absolutely sent it on us. Can we go on the outside, though? Sonoda. Oh, God. What a spicy start this is, by the way. Can we sneak past it over here? Oh, we've just got enough straight line speed. He just backs out slightly there as well. Oh, my God. Understeer everywhere. We back off enough that we don't get... Oh, there's so much understeer with this default setup, guys. Normally, I used to be a person that would only drive default setup. I used to never use a setup. But now, now I'm used to setups. So this is pain. This is pure pain. <laughs> right, we've got our teammate ahead. We should, we could normally beat him quite comfortably. The AI level is probably about right, to be honest. But it's just that the setup is not what we wanted. Oh, so much understeer on power. Right, can we do anything here? This better be easy flat. Oh, it's not easy flat. I don't have to lift. Stupid setup. Oh my god. Okay, right. Break bias down to uh, 52 for now. Diff. I reckon we want less. We want no diff, I reckon, with this. To try and reduce the understeer a little bit. Oh my god. There's just no grip. It's just understeery, like mad. A bit deep in there as well. That's all we could do setup wise. Bit of diff adjustment and a bit of brake bias adjustment. 100% wing damage. It's not. It's just default setup. I asked Jeff my vehicle condition. And he said all fine. I will check FD, but there you go. It's, it, that does often show green though. There is no wing damage. I've just got a default setup on. I'll ask vehicle, dish, vehicle condition. No tire concerns at the moment. Yeah, he will normally tell you there's some damage if there is. This is pure default setup. Don't forget, we've also got on a very early My Team car. It's not going to be that quick. George Russell's sticking to us at the moment in a, in a, in a Williams. Almost said Mercedes then. Got a bit ahead of myself. But he's on mediums. So we do want to try and pull away from him if we can. We're kind of sticking to Denetraz, which is a good sign. Because that's the sort of pace we should be on. And we are actually in P11 at the moment. Now, surely I'm not going to have to take a lift here. No, use a bit of curb there. Diff open helps a lot as well. Right. Okay, let's try and reduce this pain as much as we can. DRS enable this lap. George Russell is going to get DRS on us, I think, unless we can nail these first couple of turns. A bit slow there, really. We're okay. I want to put the brake bias a bit more rearward, I think. With this setup. Okay, George Russell does not get DRS, DRS on us at that point. I'm going to go two clicks further rearward on the brake bias. I just sort of forgot what I was doing there. Braked up my sort of time trial with setup point. Got through it well enough. 1.3 to George Russell. We want to keep him at bay. He's on mediums. We don't want him getting DRS at us. We want to try and pull away from the pack now. Oh my god. So much understeer. There's a warning. That's not surprising. This is absolute pain. Why have I done this to myself? This is... The biggest of lessons to be learned here today. It's good though, because we're right on the pace of Delatraz, but Delatraz is just slow. The all F2 drivers are slow in this game. So we, sh we would normally beat him by a long way, even if we got the AI set right. It's actually just leveled me and Delatraz out as all this setup's done. Alright, okay. No DRS for George Russell, which is good news. We can keep that flat with an open diff, which is nice. 
You can adjust the front wing. Very good point. Very, very good point. Let's add a couple of... Why are we on eight? That's quite high. Let's add a couple of clicks of rear wing. Front wing, I mean. To just oh, reduce, reduce, reduce the understeer. We could have done that before the start of the race, couldn't we? Completely forgot about that. I forgot you could make that tweak. And you can also tweak tyre pressures in part of Fermi. I completely forgot about that. Never mind. I'm not with it today at all, am I? Really not with it. Okay, a bit of battling going on ahead. We could potentially get up to them. One point two seconds to Delatraz. Alonso's managed to get past a uh, George Russell though. What's going on ahead? See, we're not actually losing that much time, surprisingly. Who is it? Oh, it's because they're battling, is it? It's the McLaren and who? There's two McLarens in there. Oh, this is just absolute pain. Who is it? I can't tell who it is. I think, I'll tell you what, if we score points today, that'll be like a win. If we score points with a default setup on 106 AI, that'll be quite the achievement. We are, I think we're slightly closing in on Denetraz now, but not by much. 1.2 to Alonso. Alonso's quicker than us. So he just flat through there. It's a nightmare. Fast for the lap time difference. Their tyres are four laps old. We think they've got one more stop. The time last lap was a 120.8. You're gaining by one tenth a lap. Only a tenth. Just a tenth of that last lap. Nothing at all. We're right on the page. We do get DRS though. We just managed to sneak in his DRS. That's going to help us loads. Okay, so now for Tari. That must be Gasly there. Just up ahead. He's struggling at the moment. Can we get up to Gasly maybe? The leaders are gone. The leaders are gone. This is going to be a battle for maybe P9. I did say that at the start of the stream. That in theory, those, those cars are too quick for us. And that has turned out to be exactly the case. We're still within DRS of Delatraz. Come on. We want to try and stay in his DRS. He is quite quick. Well, he's not, but we're quite slow. GP2 engine. Yeah, GP2 engine's coming up to us now. There's a bit... Russell's creating a bit... Oh, that's actually Sonoda. Sonoda's got past Russell, but he's creating a bit of a gap to the field because he's on mediums. Which is not bad. Now, some people might two-stop in this race. Now, do we try and get past Delatraz? We are a little bit quicker, but not by much. Oh, I think we're okay. A little tiny lift there to make sure we got through. Strange time of year to go Greece. Yeah, but not everyone can go in peak summer. Right, so we're closing in now with DRS on Delatraz, but he said previously we're only a, a, a tenth quicker, didn't he? Our engineer. And Alonso is the same pace as us. I'll tell you what, even though we've got no setup, I was worried we'd be struggling for 15th. Our pace is right where it needs to be. Even without a setup, we're right where we need to be to score some points. Delatraz at the moment is on for a point. We can maybe get after Gasly, who's just up ahead. I said Dick's have to take two downshifts through there. I think I even want to take a bit of curb with this setup, you know. Alonso's closed us down now, though. He might just sneak some DRS on us here. Unless we could do something special in this final sector. Oh, that's not special. That's pretty unspecial. No, he's, he's only a few tenths away now. There's no way. Okay. Alonso's on soft, same as us, though. Now, I wonder if there, any of the AI will two-stop. Because there's potentially a benefit to be gained there. But the leaders won't matter. The leaders will beat us even if they two-stop. They just look how far ahead they are already. Okay, Alonso's close to us, but probably not close enough. This car is pretty quick in a straight line, but ours isn't terrible in a straight line after our updates. Right, do we try and get Delatraz in the next DRS zone? I reckon we're a touch quicker, you know. Oh, the steer, come on. Do we get him? Do we get him? There's your answer. Very deep, though. So us both down. Not an ideal team move, that. We are through, though. Now, can we pull away? I'm going to go with probably not. Because our pace is very, very similar. But we are not up to P10. That would be a point. That would be unbelievable today. Don't take the curve, it turns out. That would be unbelievable today. Delatraz had a little issue there as well. We could get a point today. That would be unreal. Gasly ahead. He might just be slow because he's on mediums. We've gone horrifically deep. I said, oh god, he's so close to us. I said we didn't need practice. 
because I've done a lot of port Portimao, which is true, but I've done a lot of Portimao with a setup. So this is almost like starting again a little bit. Having to relearn things, but new breaking points, new corner speeds, new exits like this. You have to be a lot more cautious through there. Just about keeping that flat. Oh, okay. Six tenths he's away. Alonso might get him, but he's going to get DRS on us. No, I don't think Alonso's quite going to get him, which is good. Oh, almost off the track. Just about keep it clean. Don't want to get a penalty here. That could be crucial. That could be the difference between scoring points and not scoring points. Four tenths. He's got DRS here as well. Oh, it's not, I'm not driving well at the moment. Don't like the feel of this car much. Let's ask what lap time is though to Gasly. Okay. Nine tenths that last lap. Okay, let's forget about Gasly then. Our only opportunity then would be if Gasly decides to two stop for some reason. I suspect most of them though will one stop. Soft and hard. Or medium and hard even. But the me maybe the medium runners will choose to two-stop. Maybe they'll go medium, soft, soft. Who knows? Okay. Oh, Alonso's got an issue with his car. What is that? He's one of the cars we're battling behind. We seem to gain in that final sector, which is just perfect for us. Oh. Okay, Deletrice is going to get DRS, but we just sort of turn him along. That's not a bad thing for our teammate. Alonso's slow. Alonso might be, able to lose, be about to lose a position here to Sonoda with his issue. Oh, that's deep. Alonso maybe loses a position to Sonoda with his issue. Oh, my God. I'm not driving well. It's because there's so much amnesty. I have to break so early. Get it turned in so early. Okay, they're still battling behind. But it looks like Sonoda is going to take that position. Now, how quick is Sonoda? Gasly was eight tenths quicker than us on the previous... No, nine tenths, wasn't it, on the previous lap? They're still actually battling behind, though, Alonso and Sonoda. Alonso is doing typical Alonso things and just battling his heart out. But with his issue, whatever that is, it'll probably cost him the position. Right. Now, there's a big gaggle of cars just back there. Look, look on the minimap. That is a big gaggle. No, oh, thank you, Delatraz. Don't do that. He stuck his nose in there briefly. Now, that's dangerous because at the moment we're in a point paying position. That'll be an unbelievable result today with the default setup. But it's not going to be easy. There's that big gaggle of cars that all want to take that point off us. I'm really glad Denitraz is up here, by the way. He's doing a great job. We all seem to gain in that final sector, which gets us just comfortable enough down this DRS straight. Big gap now to Gasly. There's no way. Let's have a look at tyre wear while we're here. 35%. That's fine. I think we do go to mediums, don't you? Just try it. We need to do something here. Otherwise, we're probably just going to get beaten by the cars behind us. We're not able to pull away. Wonder where I would have been with it. I might have just ended up in that gap ahead with a default, with a, with an actual setup. Might have ended up with a boring race. You never know. So at the moment, it's all about cars behind. Tire condition is still looking good. Seven tenths to Delatraz now. We're pulling a bit of a gap. Can we maybe break his DRS? Do we even want to break his DRS? Or would we, would, oh, God. Would we rather turn along? Didn't touch the throttle while I was off track, so I didn't get a warning for it. Lost a bit of time there. They lost a couple of tenths to Delatraz, so we're not going to be able to get him out of our DRS this, this time. Okay. Try to power slide the car. I'll just burn the tyres if I do that. In the pit stop, we're going to take a wing adjustment. But should help. We're going to go up two clicks on the wing. Which I think will help. I think the max is 11. We're going to go to 10. We're currently on 8. Let's have a look. Yeah, the max is 11. So we're going to go to 10. Nearly max. Going to make us a bit slower in a straight line. But I'm hoping it'll make us a lot quicker in the corners. Okay, De Deletras does just sneak DRS. But not by much. I think we can probably break his DRS here. The problem with that though is it's going to pretty much guarantee that Gasly. Oh, sorry, Sonoda is going to get through. And if Sonoda gets through, and there's a very real, real possibility, he just catches and overtakes us. He is on mediums as well. So he may be quicker by the end of this stint. Now, does Delatraz get DRS here? I don't think he did, but Gazi didn't attack him. Oh, that's a bit deep. Don't do that. A second. Should we just... Should we... 
I'm honestly really torn. Do I get Delatraz out of our DRS or do we let him sit there for the team's sake? Because if somebody retires ahead, we could be on for a double points finish here. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flash back because you saw that on the right-hand side. Said it just popped up the MFD, which often means you've had a bit of ghost damage. I've had it before. I've said it. I say this most streams because it often pops up. It, it used to pop up when you got tire wear. It doesn't do that anymore. So it only ever pops up between when you get damaged normally. So every time it pops up randomly like that, I always do a flashback just in case I've got some damage from nothing, which can happen. And like I said, I've, I've had it before where it's cost me two seconds a lap. But I don't risk it anymore. I just flash back every time I see it. Now, we have got Delatraz out by DRS, provided we can nail this final turn. Oh, a bit slide on the exit, but it should be enough. Is it enough? It's just enough. Okay, Delatraz is not getting DRS on us now. We managed... Oh, did he sneak into it? It was pretty close. <laughs> Maybe he did get it in the end. Let's have a look. Box, box. Uh, no, he hasn't round. got it. Is Sonoda going to be able to get past him? Well, did he get it in the end? He did close us down at the end of the straight. Either he got it, or he used overtake. And he's going to get it down the next straight, I think. Or is he? No, he's not. Not quite. Okay, no DRS that time for Delatraz, I don't think. Is Sonoda going to be able to get past him? Jeff's telling me to box, but I think that's a bit early if we want to go to mediums. Jeff's expecting us to go to hards. We want to go to mediums. It's lap 12 of 33. We are now over a third of the way through this race. So we won't go too much longer on these softs, but they feel alright for now. Not too worn. Gotta try still just hovering around there about a second away. Oh, that's too deep. That's horrifically deep. With this setup, that line does not work. It works with a setup when you can get some rotation in the car, but not with this one, it doesn't. Nice exit though. That might allow us just to keep him out of DRS. But again, I'm, I'm a bit torn whether I want to or not. I'm not I'm probably not gonna back off to let him keep it, but. I'm not sure I want to know you're attacking us. Let's keep going for now. I'll check the tyro just a second. Starting to pit ahead. So that'll be on the same strategy that Jeff's suggesting we do. 46%, 52%. Now the problem is, Delatraz will... Delatraz will box this lap. Oh god, we're going to get traffic here. No, Shaw. Ah, that's annoying. That is really annoying. That costs us a half a second there. Not paying attention. Now, the issue now is, Delatraz is almost certainly going to box this lap. And if he does, we, if we box, I'm going to let Shell go. He never attacked. If he boxes, we'll hold him up. If we box as well. So I'm going to wait for the next lap to box. Just for the sake of our teammate. Because I'm pretty sure he'll box this lap for hards. Okay, I'm not going to let him go. He should be able to get us here. This is quite easy flat in an F1 car. He'll be up or inside to the next turn. Oh, that's deep. Oh, didn't, want, didn't need that. I want to try and get DRS on him. And we've got a warning for it. Not really worth getting one lot of DRS for a whole warning. One more of those and we get a penalty. We don't want that to happen. Stick with him. Come on. Ah, we're going to struggle. Are we going to sneak in DRS? We did. We just got DRS on him. So, does Delatraz box this lap? Please tell me he boxes this lap. Because if he doesn't, he does. He does. Perfect. Okay, Delatraz has boxed. We're going to stay out. And we're going to box this lap. So, that was a good team call there. If we did if we did box this lap, he would have got heavily held up. And again, obviously, I'd rather I score the point than him. But, if someone retires ahead, then we'll both get a point. Well, I'll get two. He'll get one if I am beat him. I didn't get DRS, apparently. Didn't quite get DRS on Charles Leclerc. We're going to box this lap now for mediums. Confirming that we'll be fitting the intermediate tyres. Not, no, Jeff. No. Bad, Jeff. Not inters. Absolutely not. Please do not put inters on my car, Jeff. This is not, no, the rain is not coming down. <laughs> I've been so annoyed if you put inters on. Okay, we can take you this lap. Right, so the behind is going to stay out a bit longer. So hopefully we'll be able to get ahead of him because we'll be on nice new inters. He'll be on used inters and hopefully we can beat him. But are we being undercut by anyone else here? Our teammate's on his own. That's a good sign. Our teammate's probably going to undercut us. If he gets past us, I'm not too upset. We managed to catch and overtake him in the first stint. Let's hope we can do that again in the second stint. Let's hope he took hards as well, which means he's one stopping. If he took anything else, he's probably two stopping. Right, we're going to box this lap then. 
and practice this pit in. Classic me. I've, I've done it before, but not practice it in this car. Yeah, I mean, I am gonna, I am gonna flash that back purely because the only reason I did that because I hadn't practiced it. I didn't know what I'm doing. I'll break a lot earlier now this time to make sure. There you go. Okay. Going to take some mediums and hope they go to the end. We're now almost halfway through this race, so mediums should be fine. Adjust wing. I have adjusted wing. Yeah, wing's on 10. So I'm going to adjust the wing, which will hopefully give us a bit more downforce. All right, come on. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. So, Sony Delatraz, that's fine. Is he going to get us? No, he's not. Delatraz is not going to get us. No, he barely gained. It's because he went to hards. Well, that's a good thing. No one's undercut us. Because look at the size of the gap ahead. 10 seconds. Nobody's undercut us. This is good. We don't need to put in some good laps here. To make sure that nobody can overcut us. <laughs> Just to hold on to this single point for the team. And hopefully if someone does retire ahead, we'll be two, it'll be three points for the team. Now, we've done that wing adjustment. Two clicks upwards. How much better is the car? Yeah, it's got it has got a chunk more front grip. Yeah, that's a lot better now. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. That'll give us a few tenths of that for sure. It's a lot better now. Not so inherently understeery. It still is, because because the eSports set up, they, they rather than just give straight more downforce or more, you know, put on more wing, they create rotation in the car to let it turn through the corners. So we haven't got that. We've just got a bit more grip on the front now, which is nice. Yeah, that's a lot better now. A lot better now. We'll be, we'll be several tenths a lap quicker. A lot easier flat in the last turn. A bit slower in a straight line, but that shouldn't matter. Right, who's in the pits then? The Tiffy and Schumacher. That doesn't matter. Although, who's on the pit exit? That's an Alpha Tauri. Is that Sonoda? It is Sonoda. Is he going to be ahead of us? He's going to be very close. We're going to be side by side here. Oh, just go around his outside. We're still ahead of Sonoda, but only just. He has managed to get past our teammate. In the pit stop phase by overcutting us there. But he's gone to hard tyres. Let's try and pull away from him if we can. He is in a faster car. But he's on hard tyres. We're on medium tyres. Let's try and pull away. Half a second. Come on. Can we find four tenths in a couple of seconds? Make that three tenths. Maybe we can. Come on. I really want a point today. That would be a fantastic drive with this default setup. Up to 8 tenths, back down to 7, 7 tenths. Come on, Sonoda, go away. He's in a faster car, so I really want to get him out of my DRS range. He's also quick in a straight line, half a second, 6 tenths. Uh, I don't think I can do it. I do tend to gain on them in the final sector, but I don't think I can gain quite that much. Not quite, not quite, we're about a tenth short. Okay, so he's going to get DRS on us here. Let's still see if we can push. Let's use our DRS and see if we can get him out of our DRS. Come on, Sonoda. Go away. Go away. We're now back up to P10. So this is the place that we're fighting for. This is the position that we want. I mean, we're only going to get more of those retirements ahead, really. It's all about fighting Sonoda now for the position. Oh, a bit of oversteer. One off track two, we get a penalty, which will give us another position for free. Need to be careful of that one. Nice on my apex there. A bit cautious on the power, though. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get him out of DRS. Let's run away. We've got softer tyres. You think we'd be able to. But he has got the faster car. Not bad through there. Not bad at all. He's now out of DRS. Can we keep it like that? We are burning a lot of DRS to do this. I'm thinking once we get him out of DRS, we can maybe pull away without burning the DRS. We're getting half a second lap to lap, despite the fact he's had DRS this lap. This should be enough. This should be enough. Should be our best lap of the race as well, but looks a bit. 1.2 seconds up. That is enough. He's now not going to get DRS on us. Let's try and pull away from him. Let's try and seal this P10. Used all of our ERS there. Okay, three tenths up on our best. 1.2 seconds to Sonoda. Let's try and keep that. He is quick in a straight line, though. That's a bit deep. Okay. 
And deeper that time. Oh, I was so scared of going off track there. Getting the penalty. Come on, we just need to push. We need to use less ERS, but try and pull away from him. It's not going to be easy. Look how much Delatraz is losing. Remember, we were right on the pace of Delatraz in the first stint. So the fact that we're able to pull so much time to him shows the advantage we've got in both tyres and the slightly higher front wing setting. It is quite significant, but Sonoda is still right on us. You can see by the gap to Gasly, they've got a, definitely got a faster car. Oh, he's actually closed in slightly this lap, but remember we've not been using so much ERS, so that's a good sign. Want to keep it at bay. I don't want him getting DRS on us every lap. I just want to put a little bit of a gap. Just give us a couple of seconds and we can chill out a little bit. But I don't think we're ever going to be able to chill out for the rest of this race. We're now over halfway through. Sonoda is only 1.2 away. This is going to be Delatraz drop back. Yeah, I think that is just his pace. On He's on hard tyres. They're probably easy half a second lap slower than the tyres I'm on. This is just now a fight for this single point from Sonoda. Oh, a bit of a mystery there on the exit. We're okay. We survive. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 1.4, that's more like it. It's going up now, come on. This is far too sweaty, by the way, for a single point. It was pretty sweaty last week, but at least we were battling the McLaren for eighth. This is just like battling the setup for P10. <laughs> Bear in mind, we've got the, what did I say, eighth fastest car? Well, technically, but we're right in the battle there to have the fifth fastest car. And even if you clearly had the 5th fastest car, you'd only really be able to get ninth place. So to get 10th place here with the default setup would be an unbelievable drive. 1.3. It is going up very slightly. Very, very slightly. But that's all we need. Let's keep the sweat up though. Let's see how much quicker Gasly is. Gasly ahead. Okay. Gap ahead is 13. Seconds. They're on old hearts. Their tyres are four laps old. The time last lap was a 120.0. You're gaining by one tenth a lap. Okay, so we actually gained a tenth on Gazi. That's a good sign. Our pace isn't bad. Our pace is probably right where it needs to be, to be honest. I'm actually surprised. I probably would have gone for 106 AI in this race. Even if I had a setup. So we would have been, I think, 20 laps. I think we could have been up there with Gasly, maybe even touching Ricardo. But more realistically, I'd say we probably would have been just up there with Gasly, battling him for ninth rather than battling Sonoda for tenth. Was that track limits warning? I'm not. I don't think I can pull a three-second gap to Sonoda. So, I don't think he's on hard tyres as well. His tyres will be in better shape than mine come the end. But with that in mind, I need to not get a penalty. If I get a penalty, I'm out of the points. It's one point or no points for us today, I think, unless we retires ahead. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the softs. Is there an option to go for softs at the end for a fastest lap? Not with not with Sonoda so so close. No, it looks like nobody's too stopping you. But again, look that that thing popped up. I'm going to flash back because there might be some ghost damage that's just happened there. We don't want we don't want that. He, is, he has closed in slightly, but we've also been slightly recharging our ERS. So that's probably about where we need to be. Just shows how close our pace is, though. If I slightly recharge, he slightly closes in. <laughs> it's very, very close. But yeah, there's not really any scope to pit, just because we'll, we'll lose the point for 10th. And I'm pretty sure, well, in real life, you definitely have to be inside the top 10 to get the point for fastest lap. I'm pretty sure that's the case as well in the game. I think they've, they've added that part in. He's now just got inside a second. What's happened? He's just suddenly picked up the pace. Go away, Sonoda. We need a good final sector here. That's not good, Mr. Apex. No, he's going to get DRS, I think, after all that. Sweat to get him out. No, pretty sure he's going to DRS. Or is he? Or is he? 
Can we sneak out? Oh, not quite. He must have used Overtake ERS as well. If he didn't use any, we probably would have got out of it. But he has got DRS now. Some free straight line speed for him down this straight. Gap to teammate behind is 6.8 seconds. Yeah, the, the gap's gone up massively to our teammate. Okay, right. I think we now just have to embrace the fact that Sonoda can follow us. And hope that we've got enough straight line speed. And hope that we don't make any mistakes. Because I don't think... I wanted to pull a gap to Sonoda, but it's not possible. I don't think it's possible. Our pace is just too similar. This is a real close battle, actually. I think he's stuck a wing up my inside for some reason. Definitely went red briefly, didn't it? Mediums are dropping off, possibly. They're only 20% though. It should be okay. He will be faster than us come the end. So this is only going to get spicier and spicier with every lap that goes by. This pace is going to come better and better than ours, relatively. Oh, God. Oh, I had to back right off there. We were very close, lucky to not get a penalty. I'm pretty sure we just put all four wheels over the white line, but because I backed off, we didn't get it, I think. It was very close. Backed off just in case. Right, need a good final turn here. Luckily, these, those last two corners are our best corners on the track compared to the AI. So he is half a second away, but we can get gain a couple of tenths on him every lap. He's a bit of ERS down this straight just to make sure we can't get too close. He is fast in a straight line is the problem. No chance, Jeff going to close him but not by quite enough that was close though that was very very close if we're a tenth slower than that he'll be side by side with us in the first turn oh god <laughs> why can it not just be easy i just want one point i've bowled this race by not putting a set up on i just want one point that's all game why are you fighting me so hard for this single point uh why has he put a wing in there I didn't react to the, to the little red arrow because it showed the same last time. What has he done there? Very strange driving. <laughs> I'm going to flash that on back, obviously, but... He's got back on the power. I think it's because I was so offline compared to his. I mean, this is his natural racing line, so I was so offline to him. I think he's just thought, oh, he's going to go off. Very, very weird. <laughs> he's also just stopped as well. Very, very strange behaviour. Let's hope he doesn't do that again. Now, I, I kept it a bit more on the track and I also braked a bit later that time to stop it happening. Very strange. Right. This is going to get tasty. Oh. Again, he's, I think he just stuck a wing in again there. Stop sticking wings in. It's going to cost him time, but it's helping us. 24 seconds to P8. We got a lot of times again. Oh no! So that's in setup, of course. That's very wide. Red dead. Dead. So now to get very, very close to us. All right, good couple of corners here. These are the corners I'm better than AI on. Yeah, there you go. We, I can gain three tenths on them through there, which is exactly what I need to do every single lap. Six tenths away. Okay. Well, how much ERS can we? Get away of not using. It's quite a long way away, but DRS is quite powerful at this track. And this car is fast in a straight line, as you can see. God, one mistake and he's through. One off track, and I've got a penalty and he's and he's through. But I'm not too worried about that corner, because they're not great through those last couple of corners. So I think I'm being saved by the fact that I'm faster than AI through the two corners that are directly before the DRS straights. I think that's what saved me at the moment. Last lap time. Previous lap time. Okay, that last lap was a 1 minute 20.5. Yeah, so we were we were 9 tenths off our best on the last lap, so our pace is dropping down a little bit, but it's less about I'm going to have to defend it. It's less about pace now, all about keeping de uh, so far Snowda behind. He's very close this time. He might be able to get us here. Down the straight. He's very, very close to us. Come on, let's nail these couple of corners. He's still very close. A little bit of oversee on the exit. Didn't help, but we have managed to get it back up to nearly six tenths. A bit closer than last time. Surely enough. We're also recharging ERS while we do this, by the way, which is great news. I'm sweating. What? We've still got eight laps to go in this race. I just want one point, game. Just give me one point. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is far too sweaty for P10. But well, I guess that's the nature of, a, of, a, of an early My Team career mode. Lots of people have been asking in chat, by the way. I'm sure chats responded, but um, this is season one of, of My Team career mode. I didn't start one before. Okay, that was nice. That was nice. Who's leading the race? Good question. <laughs> it looks like it's a white car, but I think that's a lapped car. I mean, it was a Ferrari 1-2 on the grid somehow. It looks like... Yeah, let's, should we have a check? Let's see who's, see who's leading the race. Bottas is leading. Okay, so those, the, I thought these two were the leaders. No, Bottas is leading from Verstappen. Then it's Leclerc, Hamilton, Perez, Sainz. Two McLarens, Gasly, then us. And, and everybody's gone to hards, by the way, apart from us. Oh, apart from Giovinazzi. Is Giovinazzi all right? Soft, hard, soft, soft. Okay, strange behavior, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Forgot what corner I was in briefly. I was just sort of driving a track going, hmm, where am I? I've forgotten. Oh, a bit of boost on the exit. I need to check the tyre wet. Jeff, I don't need to know that the gap in front is 17 seconds, do I? Well, I need to nail these corners every single lap. Going a little bit deep there. Should be okay, hopefully. Yeah, we've got even more ERS than we had last lap, so we are still recharging that ERS. We can even keep the ERS on through that corner now, which is good. How's our tyres getting on? 30%, 34% front left, okay. Then it's closing in, but again, not close enough. I think we've got this... I don't want to say it, but I think we've got it sorted. If we don't crash. I think that's all we need to do, is not crash. Not, not make a mistake, not go off track, not lose half a second by, by locking up and going too deep. Ooh, I went to first. I think, I think we can do it. Oh, it's far too difficult though. Oh God. Remember when I was trying to get Serena out of my DRS? That was a good time, wasn't it? It's that Mercedes is batting a Ferrari as well on track somewhere. Deep, that's deep, okay. Close to deep. Close, but not close enough. Bit deep, okay, we'll get the exit. Oh my god, I, I, this is just like, un I don't know why, I just feel like it's so unnecessarily sweaty. I just feel like, like last week, we were like really like holding on and it was like, the car was way quicker. This is just like, I'm just going about my normal race, but I'm just having to sweat. Oh god, I've got ERS. Monty Burner here. Just keep him away. He's still gaining. He's still gaining. We're going to have to defend. We have to defend there. Didn't quite get the cut back on us, thankfully. Let's go deep there to make sure we couldn't get up inside. Oh, a bit of wheel spin there, right when we didn't need it. Have to use more ERS here. He's, he's, this is good for him because he's burning out ERS while he does this. Have to go in deep again to stop him sending it. Oh my god, this is not a fast way of going about racing, but it's what we need to do, just for that single point. Oh my god, now 20, now 30 seconds to PA. Like I said, actually the, in the end, the fact that we've not run a setup is probably a good thing, because absolute best case, we were up there with Gasly. I think we could have been up there with Gasly. And it, look at that massive. We wouldn't have been with Ricardo even with a setup. So it's kind of stopped us being in the middle of nowhere. At least we've, we've got a battle by having no setup. I find that happens quite often with Portugal. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just difference in the AI or what. But around Portugal, you seem to, the gaps just seem to be bigger. I don't know what it is. We hear him coming, but he's too far back this time. Oh my god, how long have we got? Five laps. I'm getting sweaty as well. <laughs> I think the reason I think it's too sweaty is because it's just chill. It should be chill. It's not hard to drive this car with this setup. It should be chill, but it's not chill. Rain will be heavier by the end of the race. The intermediate seems the best option. That's a good idea. Shadbox sprinters. 
box printers. Right, come in at the end of this <laughs> Set intermediate tyres. Now it says medium. When I said medium earlier, he set inters. Set intermediate tyres. Okay, fitting intermediate tyres next. There we go. Inters then, boxing this lap. You say it's going to rain. Better get in the pits. Don't want to be caught out in the, in the wet weather with some dry tyres. <laughs> I'm joking. We're, not, we're obviously not going to pit. We're obviously not going to pit. So it's pretty close to us though. We need to stop messing about. Oh, we're going to have to defend again. We're going to have to defend again. That's deep. Oh, just not keep it clean. He's gone even deeper somehow. Oh my god. Put, put, put myself off there by making a joke. It wasn't worth it. Right, well, how's the tyres getting on? 44%. That'll be fine. There's only four laps to go, isn't it? Not really any tyre worries. Maybe I can start taking sixth gear through that last one. Now we've got a bit lower fuel. Need a snow tire yet? Set soft tires. Roger that. Soft tires at the next pit stop. That's probably for the best. Just in case, you know, we have some weird issue, we have to pay it or something. It was a safety car. We can just jump into the pits. Although I don't think there'll be a safety car now. I feel like we're past that point. Snow is very close again. Three tenths. Come on. Let's have a good last couple of turns. Yeah, good enough, good enough. We're doing all we need to do at the moment. Scored a single point. I said at the start of the stream, at well, the start of the race, when I realised I'd bottled the setup and put on a default setup, that a point points would be phenomenal today. That'd be a really good result. We're currently holding on to P10 for dear life. And we only got P8 last time out, don't forget. And realistically, looking at the gap, I think P9 was probably our maximum today. I don't think we could have gone over a second a lap quicker with a setup. Less than a second though, maybe what's, what's Gasly? Maybe eight, seven or eight tenths a lot quicker. Maybe that could have been done with a setup. I don't actually know to be honest how much different the, the lap times are, but. So realistically, we've actually only lost a cup, like maybe one absolute maximum of three points today by not putting a setup on. So it's not the end of the world. We still need to get this one point though, make it happen. Nice corner through there. As if there's a 23 second gap. Normally that happens and there's, you've got a big queue behind you. It's because you're slow and you'll be, you're being too aggressive with AI and defending too aggressively. That's not what's happening today. It's, this is just... I find this a lot of Portimao. There just is big gaps between the cars of Portimao. Our teammates kind of holding a few people up, look. If they were that much quicker, they'd get pies. You can't overtake a Portimao down this straight. Right. Three more laps to go, including this one. Three more times, we need to do each of these corners. He's pretty close, but not close enough. Plenty of ERS. This... Oh, I almost said this should be in the bag, and then look what happened before I even said it. What was the move in the straight line? I didn't make a, I didn't make a double move in a straight line. I, get, I always get room on the outside. When I, when I, when I, assume you're talking to me, by the way, when you, when you, when I moved um, over to the inside to defend, I gave him a car's whip from the outside. Okay, again, we're going to flash back just in case that's phantom damage. Everyone's still just asking me where Ben is. <laughs> He'll be back next week, guys. Hamilton's out! Oh, we've gone horribly distracted. We've let... Oh, God. Bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact there with Sonoda. He's still on the right side. We have to give a bit of room here. We do. Oh, no. That's deep. That's deep. I've gone deep. He might get us here, guys. He might get us here. He's still up around side. He's got the switch back on us. Oh, he sent it on the brakes. Squeeze him out of room. Oh, and a slide. Right, we didn't need it again. He's only three tenths back. Hamilton's DNF, but we could be about to lose a position here. And still only need it with P10. Don't do it, Sonoda, please. Luckily, we've got some ERS to defend with. Is it going to be enough? Less than three tenths. DRS is open now. We're going to have to defend. Don't go to the inside, Sonoda. There we go. 
We did manage to defend that. That was far too spicy. Completely distracted by the fact that Hamilton retired. Probably should have looked what happened, but I was too busy battling with Sonoda. Hashtag not blessed. Well, up to P9 now, though. That's two points. Running deep there because I thought he might send it. He's off the brake slightly. Two more laps to go for P9. Two points. That's a bit more like it. Doubled our point hole if we can hold off Sonoda, but we very nearly didn't that last lap. Even had some wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact. Oh, I had to back off there to not get a penalty. Look how close he is still. He's really pushing. Now, the issue is the AI save ERS for this stage of the race. He'll have plenty of ERS now to attack with. Because they save it to go for a faster lap push. They all do the same thing. So he's got lots of ERS. Luckily, we've got quite a lot of ERS as well. But he will be using it all. He'll be using all of his ERS now at the end of this race to try and get us. So we do need to drive well here. Oh, a bit of understeer. Only one lap Half a second. Is that enough? That should be enough, you'd think. 62% ERS coming on to the last lap of the race now. One more lap to get P9 for two points. He's a lot to be ERS down this straight just to make sure he can't get too close to us. I'll tell you what, he got closer than I hoped. If anyone we used ERS down that whole straight, he was still pretty close to us. We're doing alright, we're doing alright. Wow, Bottas just finished the race. We were almost lapped. We were almost lapped and we're still going to get points. Why? What is the field spread on this track? It's wild. Oh, I'll have to defend here. He sent it. He's backing off. We're still all right. We're still ahead. We're still ahead. He really is going for this. I forgot to defend on that last straight. Don't go off track on this last lap. I'll be very upset if I lose P9. From an off track after going the last 15 laps or so without it. Gonna have to defend into here as well because he's going to attack again. Will he be able to get us to the line even? Then he's backing off nicely. We're still ahead. We're still ahead. But he's only two tenths behind. Less than that. A tenth and a half. Go to the inside here to make sure he didn't send it. Three and a half tenths. Surely this is enough. Surely this is enough. He's certainly giving it a good go. No one could knock Gasly. He definitely tried. Shame Delatraz couldn't stay ahead of him because this would have been a double points finish. For the first time for the AG Motorsport team. But it's looking like it is going to be just about P9. With a default setup on 106 AI. We take that. We take that today. I think we probably could have got P8. I don't think P7 was ever on the card. So we actually only really lost one position, I reckon. Driver of the day as well as we start at the back of the grid. All the way up to P9 for some points. We were doing it anyway, even without a DNF. Got an extra point because Mercedes DNF, which I'm not going to complain about. What us won the race. Verstappen second. Was that Leclerc? Yeah, it is Leclerc in third. Wow, great race from Ferrari. And there it is then. Confirmation. P9, P11 for Louis. He was six tenths slower than us in the end on his best lap. Well, that was probably with hard tyres. New driver championship leader. Bottas now leads the championship by 14 points over Max Verstappen. Hamilton just dropped back. They That's me. Constructors, we're up. We're still in sick for the constructors. Nothing's changed there. We've got six points now after those two points for today. Right level though with Aston Martin. The top four, there's no way this season. They've already got 29 points. Our target is P5 this season. I think for the very first season, that'd be a, that'd be a good result. Let's have a quick look at the highlights. See if there's anything spicy in there that we can watch. Oh, turning right as he crossed the line. Don't know what that means. So no crash for Delatraz P10. No, no, unfortunately not. Been driving very insane. Thanks a lot, Alex. Yeah, apologies, guys. It wasn't wasn't the best of races, was it? We were only battling one car. We didn't actually really make any overtakes after sort of lap, what was it? Lap five or six where we got past our teammate. Bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact there, though. Up to P13 already, look. Bit of a slow-mo shot there. Is this when we went off track? That's, that's us going off track. Lovely. That's just a little picture of us getting a penalty. Love to see it. We'll get a warning. We tried to defend from Alonso there. We ended, in the end, we had to let him have the inside line. Oh, very spicy stuff. The Williams breaks so early. If I didn't go up the inside of the Williams there, I would have lost the position to the Alpine. And then we ended up gaining on the Williams and then getting past Sonoda. Didn't even notice, by the way. We, oh, that's another, there's another warning there, potentially. And Sonoda is now side by side with the Alpine, who gets nerfed out. No, Sonoda. I didn't realise we made an on track to overtake on him at the start. Well, of course we did if we start from the back. This is us getting right up to the back of Lou Delatraz. Managed to get past him nice and clean. We do have to send it a little bit. It wasn't, wasn't too easy, but DRS made it easy enough. What a cool shot that is, except for the, the UI's in the way, but... There it was. Another little slow-mo shot. 
up to P10. And that is where we stay for the entirety of the race. Managed to stop one lap earlier than uh, Sonoda, which helped. And then get towards the end of the race here. This could be when we made wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact. Was it was this when Hamilton retired? I think this here is where Hamilton retired. I got completely distracted and went very, very deep. And he just comes up the inside. Bit of wheel-to-wheel -wheel contact there. That was real spicy, wasn't it? Can we do a different view? We can't because of the highlights. But he just sends it. Fair enough. I left I left the door open. There's a, there's a car's width there. But it just, just a little clash of wheels. We both keep it clean enough, though. And we get through. He's still side by side now, though. Round my outside. Lucky I managed to outbreak him. But I do go in deep. Which allows him to get the cut back. Which I don't know if we're going to see. No, yeah. He does get the cut back on us. He's rather outside now, but we have just enough corner speed there to get ahead of him. And then down that straight, we do manage to maintain the position as well. Another slow-mo shot here. Look at our eyes. Repeat. Through the final turn. And he just, look how close he was there. We had to really defend this one. He was right side by side with us going to the first turn. We had to move over, make sure we didn't get the inside line. We had to use a lot of ERS to make it happen as well. He tried to go on the outside, but that just doesn't happen around turn one. Go to the end of the race as we take home P9 in the race. Let's go, chat. That was a, that was a, it was, it was a, it was a good result. It just wasn't a bang of a race, but um, def definitely not helped by the fact we had a default setup. It's just easier to drive. So uh, next week, or actually not next week, Thursday this week will be the next episode of this one. Uh, so I normally do these every Thursday, but as Ben was away this week, we did it, did it today as well. So tune in on Thursday. It's going to be Monaco on Thursday from the back of the grid. That one will be spicy. Let's hope we can have a good race there. Let's just get through these interview questions before we completely sign off. Hopefully you enjoyed this one enough though, guys. You're breaking all expectations. What's your secret? Uh sure. Your teammate seems to be having a hard time pushing past the competition this Appreciate your time. Here we go. M4 FOM. Yes, this stream might get taken down uh after after the race it's entirely possible there's nothing i can well i can do something about it i could appeal it but that normally takes about 24 hours so um at least it didn't go down during the stream today though that's nice that happened last time and as i said i have got a, p a plan that i'm hatching uh in time for the well not in time but just over the next course of the next few weeks something that i've got planned that i'm not able to say yet uh so uh we'll, we'll see if that one comes off but yeah anyway guys thanks so much for watching um next week then will be the next two player career mode so tune in same time same place for the uh is that portuguese as well no it's baku it's baku uh this time next week with ben daly for the two player career mode on thursday will be monaco in this my team career mode anyway guys thanks for watching i'll catch you next time bye bye